September 14, 1805, with our Shoshone guide called Old Toby, along with 29 horses and a mule, we headed over Lolo Pass and into the Bitterroots. We took the wrong path, and instead of following the crest line of the mountains, we descended down into the valley. That was a bad move. We scrambled over many fallen trees and then had to climb back over 3,000 feet to get back onto the crest line. Exhausted from the day's travel, we camped for the night and woke in the morning to over a foot of fallen snow. Breaking camp, we climbed more mountains, thinking that we were over the worst part, only to see nothing but endless mountains ahead of us. Snow, ice, endless, miserable conditions, fording creeks, carrying a baby and watching our dog, no game in sight. The horses were skittish and sometimes ran away, and it was an endless battle trying to keep track of all of our cargo. When life seemed bleakest, we looked into the horizon and saw light. We began cutting trees and preparing dugout canoes for our trip down the Clearwater River. Finally, we would have the current pushing us toward the Pacific. But it wasn't all smooth water. We soon faced the rapids of the Snake River in Hell's Canyon. And boy, did we have a ride. The water evened out, and the river got wider and wider, and we knew we had reached our destination. The Pacific Ocean. We took a vote where we would make our winter quarters and this may have been the first time that a woman, a Native American, and a Negro participated in the vote. We made our way across the Columbia River and built a fort called Fort Clatsop. Of our 106 days at the fort, only 12 were without rain. We mainly stayed inside trying to keep dry and preparing for the trip home as soon as spring broke and the snows were gone. The opportunity for game was slim. We made salt, we bartered with the natives, and we got by on some fish, but we were ready to leave. The men were eager to return home, and so were we. What took Lewis and Clark over seven months to accomplish, Amy and I finished it in three days. <laughs>